up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started. So today I am sharing with you guys the spring 2021 collection from Morgan Taylor which is called Out in the Open. So we've got a small collection for today. It's just six polishes, four of which are creams. If you guys haven't heard of Morgan Taylor before, they are a mainstream salon brand based in the US. They are five free, meaning they are free of five of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish. They are vegan and they are cruelty free. And yeah, I'm I'm relatively new to Morgan Taylor, but I certainly have some thoughts on these. So let me show you guys the swatches and then we can talk more about pricing, availability, all that good stuff. So roll footage. So as always with my swatch and review videos, I am going to be using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today it is the Orly Bonder base. So we'll start off with the shade Be Free. As you can see, my bottle, I kind of left it out in the sunlight, so it got a little bleached, but don't worry, that doesn't actually affect the polish. It just looks not so great in the bottle. But anyway, if you couldn't tell from the bottle, now you can tell on the nails that it is a really nice dusty medium pink that has a very warm undertone to it. And I will say it does dry slightly darker than it looks when it is wet. And I noticed that happens a lot with Morgan Taylor polishes, but honestly, it is a really pretty one. It's kind of one of the classic shades, nothing too unique or original, but if you are looking for one with a good formula, this one is a nice two coater and it self levels really beautifully. Next up we have the shade Keep It Simple, which is a really nice, very dusty, very light pink pastel shade that actually has a little bit of like a nude undertone to it. And it was actually really surprisingly opaque. It was very nearly a one coater, but I did need a second coat for full coverage. Again, it did dry slightly darker than it looked when I was applying it, but I thought it actually matched my skin tone really well. And it almost looked like a nude on me, even though I would definitely classify this as more of a pinky shade. Next up we have In the Clouds, which is another super light pastel cream shade and this one is a very light baby blue color that almost looks white on the nails and again we have an extremely impressive formula here as you can see this color was extremely opaque it completely covered my visible nail line in the first coat I ended up doing a second coat because the formula on Morgan Taylor is slightly thin but I think that's actually usually a good thing I don't mind a thin formula I think it helps when you're doing multiple layers because it doesn't feel too thick on the nails but if you only do one layer sometimes it just feels like not enough polish is on your nail and it doesn't really kind of protect you. Next up we have the shade Take Time and Unwind and this one I thought was kind of the anomaly of the collection because it doesn't really have that typical spring color to it. In the bottle it kind of looked like a dusty brick reddish brown color but on the nails I thought it was actually a lot more vibrant of that sort of brick red shade. I do think it's pretty and I would probably love to wear this in the fall. That being said I did think it was a good formula it was very easy to work with and I actually ended up getting a tiny bit sloppy and got some in my cuticle and it did not stain my cuticles at all which is really nice to find in red polish. So I ended up doing two coats for full coverage on this one but it was pretty opaque in the first. Next up we have the shade Dancing in the Sunlight and this one is a frosty off-white pearly kind of color. Now it doesn't have the streakiness that I normally associate with pearlized shades but it definitely does have that frosty kind of throwback color going on on there. I ended up doing two coats for full opacity and for the most part it did cover my visible nail line but when you're looking at the polish in some angles you can definitely see the sheerness of it. Now the formula on this was as good as polishes like this tend to be. I don't personally love this color it just doesn't really work for me but if you are looking for this color I did think the formula was pretty good. And last but I don't know maybe least I'm not really sure yet. <laughs> We have No Limits, and this one is definitely a unique shade. It's kind of this sheer pink base that has a golden shimmer running throughout, and then we have sheer glass irregular flakes running throughout. Now, I wasn't entirely sure if this was meant to be worn on its own. I did do two coats on its own to see what it looked like, and I wasn't really sure if I liked it. I always appreciate when brands kind of step outside the box and do something unique, and I actually really do love sheer polishes, but I'm not sure if this one works for me. I think the flakes in there kind of make the polish look lumpy unless you're really close up. So I wasn't a huge fan of that. But just out of curiosity, I also wanted to try it as a topper. I know shades like this can tend to be really transformative over black. So I wanted to try it over black and 
I think I liked it even less over black. It kind of created this like burnt gold kind of color and the flakes didn't really transform at all, but they were more visible, which I think made it not look lumpy. Personally, I feel like if this came out in a Halloween collection, I might be more inclined to like it, but as you guys know, I don't really love spring colors, so I'm probably gonna end up not really wearing this one. <laughs> Curious to hear what you guys think though, so let me know in the comments if you love it, if you hate it, or if you're not really sure like me. <laughs> so here are all of these shades together and honestly I'm not really sure what to make of this collection. Looking at all of them together now I think they're actually kind of cute but when I see them all in the bottles next to each other I'm not really a huge fan of this collection. The creams I thought performed incredibly. The non-cream shimmery kind of polishes I didn't think the formulas were bad but I just didn't personally like those colors so I don't know I feel like individually I like these shades as a whole I'm not really sold on this collection. So yeah, those are the polishes. Honestly, I am a little torn because on the one hand, I really do like these polishes individually and I think the formulas are good, but honestly, I feel like the colors are pretty uninspired. I know if it was just like a one-off polish, like, and I was in the mood for like a soft pink or a soft blue kind of shade, I would probably grab for these because like I said, they are good formulas. It's just, I don't like these colors. I don't like the typical spring pastel shades. And I just feel like, I don't know, it just didn't, it didn't feel very exciting of a collection. It feels kind of tame to me. And that might be just because we have been spoiled this year with some exciting spring collections. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't have anything bad to say about the formula. Like I said, these are all really smooth and workable and you get a lot of polish for your money. The formula does feel a little reminiscent of OPI to me because it's thin, but it's really workable. But yeah, I just, I don't know how I feel about this collection. I just feel very uninspired by it. So I always get my Morgan Taylor polishes from HB Beauty Bar and there they retail for $8 USD for the 15 milliliter bottle. You can also use my discount code Kelly to get 22% off your order there so I will link that down in the description so you guys can check that out if you're interested. But yeah I want to hear from you guys what do you think of these shades? I know it's really up to personal preference because as you guys probably know because I mention it all the time I don't really like typical spring shades and I prefer brighter more saturated colors generally but I know obviously we all have different tastes so if you guys are into it if you're not into it let me know in the comments we can chat about it if you enjoyed my swatch and review videos please give this one a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing i put out new videos every tuesday friday and sunday and i guess that's it for this one so i'll see you guys in the next video bye today's fun fact question comes from patreon supporter rainbow and rainbow wants to know would you ever consider doing any galaxy inspired clothing merch type stuff I totally buy it by the way. Thanks Rainbow, I appreciate that. <laughs> so fun fact, I actually started the process way back in like 2018. I started the process of making Galaxy Gang t-shirts and it started off as a really cool idea. I was working with a company who I'm not gonna mention. They sent me samples of everything and it was such bad quality. And it was like months long of a process of us just like trying to figure out like one, hiring a designer for the art and then, you know, buying the t-shirts or whatever for it and then trying to screen print the designs and everything and it was just such bad quality and I emailed them once I finally got those samples and I was like oh we need to work on the quality it's not good and they responded and they were like oh your fans won't care they'll just buy it because your name is on it and I was like and then I never emailed them again. <laughs> <laughs> which is probably not very professional of me. So yeah, I've been a little shy about doing any clothing merch since then. I know there are companies that are more reputable, but this one was a pretty big company and they, they work with a lot of big YouTubers. So I gotta say I was a little disappointed in that. Maybe something to consider for the future. I don't have anything like that in the works, but I do have something exciting coming this summer. It might be kind of merch adjacent, but it might just be nail polish, who knows? <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Okay, I'm leaving, goodbye.